Back in 2009, we brought you a story about two property owners in the Stillwater Lake community being sued for trademark infringement. Now they've won part of the legal battle and are suing back. News 13's Justin Dorsey is live in Pocono Summit with an update. Justin. Well, Marie, we're told this battle all started because of one man wanting his community to have a voice. When Mike Glassick started his website, StillwaterLakes.com, he never imagined it would put him into a 10-year legal struggle. They were suing me for trademark infringement, but that was really just a facade. As a resident of Stillwater Lakes, he believes the suit came as a result of his website addressing issues in the community and asking the Neighborhood Association questions about how property owners' dues were being spent. I was filing complaints with the FBI, the Attorney General, and I was uh, digging up situations in our association. Situations like his wife, a former board member of the association not being able to view financial records without signing a confidentiality agreement, bank fraud, and a sewer issue they uncovered during a data dump. And about three years into the lawsuit, they decided to do a motion to dismiss, which means they, they're dismissing a case. They did it with prejudice, means they could never come after me again. Glassick's wife was a board member at the time of our 2009 segment. She's since been let go, but there's a new lawsuit on the table. Now we're suing the association and the attorneys um, to try to make sure that no one else goes through this. The couple's in the process of getting money together through their GoFundMe page for a lawyer to continue the case. I just believe that freedom of speech is uh, worth fighting for, which is uh, why I'm here. Now, we did reach out to that property management company earlier, but we never did hear back. Now, Glassick and his wife, we're told, have until October 18th to find a lawyer for this case. For now, that's the story from here. In Pocono Summit, Justin Dorsey, News 13.